This video shows solutions to some example problems from the Boyle's Law Calculation problem set from sciencepimer.com. The first question we're going to look at is, given a container of helium gas with an initial volume of 120 liters and a pressure of 27 pascals, calculate the pressure if the volume is changed to 130 liters. The relationship we need to know to answer this question is the one described by Boyle's Law, which states in a closed container pressure times volume always remains constant. This means that if pressure changes, volume needs to adjust so that the product of the two always equal the same value. Thought about this way, we can rewrite this relationship as at a given pressure, a closed container will have a given volume, and if pressure changes to P2, another pressure, volume 2 will also adjust so that the product of P1 times V1 equals the product of the, the new pressure times a new volume. And this is the formulation of the equation that we need to solve this question. So let's go back up to the question and figure out what kind of information we have. We have an initial volume, 120 liters, so this will be V1, and an initial pressure, 27 pascals, so we'll call this P2. We're asked to calculate the pressure, so we need to find an unknown pressure, so this is P2, a new pressure, and the volume is changed to 130 liters, so the volume will be V2. To solve this question, we can go ahead and just plug these numbers in. For P1, we'll use 27 pascals. For V1, we will use 120 liters. And this equals P1, which is our unknown, so we'll call that X, times, I'm sorry, P2 times V2, which is 130 liters. Now to solve this question, we need to isolate X. To do this, we will divide both sides by 130 liters. Cancels on this side, we end up with X by itself. And x equals 27 pascals times 120 liters divided by 130 liters. Liters will cancel. The answer will be in the unit of pascals. So to do the calculation, 27 times 120 divided by 130 equals 24.9 or 25 pascals. So this is the new pressure given the change in volume in the container of helium gas. Let's clear this and try another question. Now we're asked given a container of lithium gas with an initial volume of 255 liters, so here's our V1, and a pressure of 20 pascals, so this is P1. Calculate the volume, so we need to find a new volume, V2, if the pressure becomes 510 pascals. So now this is our P2. Same relationship, P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Two, but this time I'm going to do it a little differently and I'm going to isolate the variable we want to find before I plug the numbers in. So in order to find V2, which is our unknown, we need to divide both sides by P2. The P2's cancel here and we end up with the relationship we want. V2, our unknown, equals P1 V1 divided by P2. Now we can put the numbers in. P1 is 20 pascals, V2 
is 255 liters, so times 255 liters, divide by P2, which is 510 pascals. This time the pascals will cancel. Our units will be left with is liters. Pull the calculator in again. 20 times 255 divided by 510 equals 10. So that's the answer to this question. It's 10 pascals.